Welcome to Thorsta. I'm Pino Gris. As a time-traveling, super-dimensional magical girl, I like to keep tabs on other magical girls, and that's why today we are reviewing episode 5 of Puella Magi Madoka Magic Magica. Let's go! Boop, boop. Spoilers! Turn back now. Before it's too late, this is your last chance. In episode 1, the girl from Madoka Strange Dream joins the school, and Madoka and Sayaka meet Kyubei, who offers them to make a contract and become a magical girl. They don't take it. In episode 2, the magical girl Mami teaches the girls about being a magical girl and how to fight witches. Sayaka and Madoka decide that they're going to become magical girls, but before they can complete the contract with Kyubei, Mami dies. But Homura rescues them just in time. Maybe she's not an enemy after all. In episode 4, Madoka and Sayaka are learning to live with heavy hearts. A witch that makes a mass delusion into which many people fall, and they're all going to die, except Madoka tries to intervene. It doesn't go well, but Sayaka has already made her wish. She's now a magical girl and rescues Madoka, but now somebody else wants to take over the power vacuum left by Mami. Episode 5 begins to reveal much more about the world that these girls are living in. Kyoko is this new magical girl who's coming in to fill the spot that uh, Mami had. She calls it a prime location, and she's very upset that new inexperienced magical girls are having it. She also has a relationship with Kyubei, and while he's clearly giving her information that suits her self-serving needs, he's not maybe giving her the full truth. I can't help but notice that Mami herself, when talking about magical girlhood, seemed guilty, like she was maybe lying and knew it. When Sayaka, in her flashbacks, makes her um, wish, or not, to Kyubei, and the contract is complete, She's standing on a design in the ground that resembles a classical garden labyrinth. So I wonder then, what is the link between magical girls and witches? Are they just the same creature on opposite sides of the labyrinth? To support this, when Sayaka and Madoka are talking over their feelings, Sayaka herself now taking up the role of Mami, while Madoka admitting that she's breaking her promise to Mami. Um, the, we see a flashback to Mom, the scene where Mami had died, and there's on the table her teacup, which she drinks when in victory, and a grief seed broken through it. And then in the background is the cake uh, on another table, which she promised, uh, she made Madoka in a joke promise, promise to wish for that they would all sit down and eat cake when, if she didn't have her own wish by the end of the fight. So I wonder, is she going to become a witch herself now that she's died to a witch? Or did the witch maybe fully digest and kill her? We'll have to see. I really don't care what kind of cake it is for myself as long as it tastes really good. My expectation is that given that I think this is some sort of secular, um, you know, time traveling story that maybe cake will in fact appear quite prominently and importantly in this, at least as a metaphor for something, but I haven't quite figured out how yet. On the time traveling thing, I note that when Kyoko and Sayaka finally meet and fight each other, um, uh, Sayaka is kind of outmatched. We do learn that Sayaka's own powers of healing are modified because her wish itself was to um, heal somebody, which is Kyosuke, this violinist whose arm was damaged in an accident and he can't walk and can't play any music. She made her wish to spare him his grief, but labyrinths kind of as a structure are things that um, we go into them and we confront a monster, and then that monster gives us some sort of power, usually knowledge, which we take back with us. And a lot of psychology is basically following this form, confronting something unpleasant, converting into something new, returning and using the power that we gain from that. But we never finish. We eventually come back around to the new monster. And this is something Uranusians and human beings share, at least humans from Earth. So 
That is kind of our own inner work and it's very important. Sayaka's done hers, which makes her heart a little bit um, nervous to expose to the world, but she's doing it bravely, while Kyosuke has not. And I think in the situation where we want to spare somebody the pain that's caused by them avoiding their inner work, our efforts are doomed to fail and they're going to be tragic. So I think that something bad is going to turn from that. But if Sayaka's body is affected by the nature of her wish, then maybe Homura-san's body is also affected by her wish. Maybe she's not moving directly through time or can move alternately through time. Because we saw in the fight where Mommy died that she doesn't quite move linearly. She was just appearing here, disappearing with one side of the frame coming up through the other side. And then when she stops the fight between Kyoko and Sayaka, there's a moment where all of the raindrops are paused and she whispers to Madoka, like, you don't need to make a wish, it won't be necessary. And then intervenes. So, I think that lends some weight to my time travel theory. As far as what this means overall, I've noticed that in the background there are these like repeating industrial motifs and this very strange art style, usually around fences. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, art deco or art nouveau or art magica, but it makes me then wonder, is it possible that the entire city is some kind of labyrinth in which instead of witches giving their delusions and despair, human beings are giving their own dis uh, disillusion and despair. And then, what does that say about modern cities? At least in America, if you look at one from a map, it does look pretty swirly and tangled. I think it's probably part of why we're so despairing and disillusioned. My main takeaway from episode 5 is that you can't always get the cake that you want, but you can sometimes get the cake that you need. So please leave a comment below. Also, press the bell do a, a subscribe or like if that's what you'd like to do. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Ta -ta. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.